A sonic boom occurs when an object travels faster than the speed of sound. Sonic booms rarely occur in nature, but happen all the time with today's modern aircraft. A shockwave accompanying a sonic boom can be a sight to behold. And so today we're taking a look at the top 15 amazing sonic booms. Number 15. Nuclear Bomb It goes without saying that nuclear blasts are generally pretty powerful. After all, thanks to its use of either fission or fusion via a nuclear reaction, these bombs have the potential to be insanely powerful. So powerful, in fact, that the Tsar Bomba, which was the largest nuke ever dropped in recorded history, was so strong that when it landed on the northern Russian island of Severny, its force was equivalent to a massive 50 megatons of TNT. And while the residual effects of the bomb are relatively unknown due to the Soviet Union's secrecy at the time, what we do know is that it was the single most physically powerful device ever deployed on Earth, and likely caused massive nuclear fallout in the area. Concorde Jet While there have been many iconic planes over the years, few match the prestige and recognition of the Concorde. First flown in 1969, it's a turbojet-powered supersonic passenger airliner. It was made in conjunction with both French manufacturer Aerospatial and English manufacturer British Aircraft Corporation. And the incredible thing about this plane is that it, despite it being able to achieve supersonic speeds, it was often used as a passenger jet and therefore stands apart as being one of only two supersonic transports to have been operated commercially. And although this meant that it could often only carry passengers with deep pockets, considering that it could reach a max speed of about Mach 2.04, many would say that due to its ability to cross the Atlantic in less than three and a half hours was well worth it. Number 13, a volcano. Defined as events where magma escapes from a volcano, volcanic eruptions are nothing if not scary. And be it expelling toxic gases, ejecting lava, or creating landslides, these eruptions usually cause massive damage in their wake. As a result, it should come as no surprise that they have the potential to let off serious sonic booms that's not only visible, but extremely loud for those watching in its vicinity. So without further ado, here's an example of one that was caught on film. Number 12, the homemade rocket. While supersonic missiles are generally something that you'd expect only NASA or the military to be able to get their hands on, it turns out that you can make your own from materials at your local hardware store. And while this may be hard to believe, students at a New Mexico tech prove this to be true after teaming up with the White Sands Research and Developers LLC to launch a supersonic rocket in April of 2018. Incredibly, the rocket was able to go at a speed of Mach 1.27, significantly passing the speed needed for a sonic boom. However, due to it traveling up into the sky, although the launch is visible, the boom itself, while certainly very loud, is not visible to you and I. Number 11, the crack of a whip. Although almost every entry on this list will be a vehicle of some sort, it turns out that the sound barrier can be broken with a lot more than just a jet-fueled aircraft. That's because thanks to its design, a tool as simple as a whip can be used so that it travels at a speed faster than that of any sound. How does this work, you may ask? Well, it's primarily because the end of the whip, known as the cracker, moves faster than the initial force at the beginning of the whip, therefore allowing to accelerate to the speed of sound and thus creating a sonic boom. As a result, when played in slow motion, it's clear that a sonic boom will form as the whip is traveling towards full extension. Number 10, the F-22 Raptor. As far as modern-day examples of insanely cool sonic booms go, few come close to that of the F-22. A single-seat, twin-engine, all-weather stealth tactical fighter aircraft developed for the United States Air Force, it first entered service in 1997 and is still used to this day. Now, in regards to armaments, it's fully loaded, as it not only features a 20mm M61A2 Vulcan rotary cannon with 480 rounds, but also room for as many as eight high-powered missiles. However, what really makes the F-22 stand apart is its speed. That's because the plane is powered by two Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW100 augmented turbofans that deliver 26,000 pounds of thrust each and 35,000 pounds of thrust with afterburner for a total of 70,000 pounds of thrust. 
With that amount of power, the aircraft can achieve a maximum speed of Mach 2.25, while having a service ceiling of about 65,000 feet. As a result, these F-22s really are a sight to behold, and can be seen in this video of an F-22 flying over the ocean. Number 9. The Space Shuttle When it comes to spacecraft, few are as famous as the Space Shuttle. In service between the years 1981 and 2011, it was a partially reusable spacecraft that would go into Earth's orbit in order to conduct scientific experiments, participate in construction, and service the International Space Station. Making it one of the most multi-purpose spacecraft the world has ever seen, it experienced extensive use, having flown for 1,322 days, 19 hours, 21 minutes, and 23 seconds across 135 different missions. Regarding its price, it was prohibitively expensive in relation to NASA's current operating budget, as a single launch would often cost somewhere between $576 million and $1.64 billion. As a result, the six that were built were all eventually retired by the year 2011, with many being up for display in museums across the United States. Now, regarding its tendency to create sonic booms, the space shuttle would consistently reach the required speed needed due to it often reaching Mach 1.5, an altitude of 60,000 feet, and as such, in the middle of a landing approach, it would typically create a total of two, with one forming at its nose and another at its tail. As a result, they are often hard to see on camera, but it is very easy to hear the two distinct booms. Check it out. All right, made it back. All right. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. The F-4 Phantom As far as bombers go, few are as impressive as the F-4 Phantom tandem two-seat twin-engine all-weather long-range supersonic jet interceptor and fighter bomber originally developed for the United States Navy by McDonnell Aircraft. It first entered service in 1960 with the Navy and gained notoriety due to its extensive use during the Vietnam War in ground attack and aerial reconnaissance missions. In fact, upon its introduction, it set 15 world records for in-flight performance, including an absolute speed record and an absolute altitude record. As a result, despite being retired by the U.S. in 1996 after 36 years of service, its superstar capabilities have allowed it to continue to see action in the Greek, Iranian, Turkish, South Korean, and Japanese Air Forces to this day. Now, Regarding its armaments, the F-4 Phantom is an absolute beast. That's because it not only has a 20mm M61A1 Vulcan 640 round cannon mounted internally under the nose, but also the capability to carry nearly any missile imaginable with these even including B-28EX, B-61, B-43, and B-57 nuclear missiles. Yet where the F-4 really stands apart is with its flight specs, as its max speed of Mach 2.23 in range of 2,700 kilometers truly makes it one of the best in its class, despite having first been issued so many years ago. Thus, it shouldn't come as a surprise that it makes a pretty impressive sonic boom. You can check it out in this video from an air show several years ago. Number 7. SpaceX Falcon Heavy It goes without saying that the SpaceX Falcon Heavy is one of the most highly anticipated space vehicles to have been developed in recent memory. A partially reusable heavy lift launch vehicle that had its first flight in 2018. It was designed in order to carry cargo up into orbit and was most notably the rocket of choice for the initiation of the famed Starlink mission, which will eventually facilitate the launching of 12,000 internet satellites into orbit. Now, the Falcon Heavy stands apart for having more than 5 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, which gives it the capability to carry the equivalent of a Boeing 737 jetliner filled with fuel, passengers, and luggage into space. Interestingly enough, it's believed that the Falcon Heavy has the capability of traveling all the way to Mars, and although its payload would likely slightly decrease, it is feasible that the rocket would be able to make the trip there and back thanks to its reusable parts. And when you further consider that a reused Falcon Heavy costs just 90 million to launch, it's clear that this spacecraft really could be the future of spaceflight. Now, all of this power, of course, means that the vehicle is rather quick, as while re entering the atmosphere, it can reach speeds that are far past that of the sound barrier. As such, a clear video of this descent in action can be viewed here. Double sonic booms. Number six, a person. While it may be hard to believe, it turns out that us humans can break the speed of sound as well as any man-made object can. However, achieving such a feat is rather uncommon. So uncommon, in fact, that only two people in recorded history has done it on their own. 
However, the more notable of the two was Felix Baumgartner of Austria, who made history when in October of 2012, he became not only the first person to break the sound barrier in freefall, but also set new records for the highest freefall parachute jump, the highest vertical speed in freefall, and the greatest freefall distance. Being dropped from the stratosphere above New Mexico in an event sponsored by Red Bull, he began at an initial height of 38,969 meters, and after traveling at a speed that capped out at about Mach 1.25, he landed on Earth after about nine minutes of freefalling, making him an instant celebrity. His leap can be viewed across the internet, however. While you can very easily hear the sonic boom, it's near impossible to see it at full speed due to the small size of his body. However, we invite you to do the best you can to get a glimpse of it. Number five, the Grumman F-14 Tomcat. As far as military jet aircrafts go, few are as impressive as the Grumman F-14 Tomcat. An American supersonic twin-engine, two-seat, twin-tail, variable-sweep wing fighter aircraft it was first developed for the United States Navy's Naval Fighter Experimental Program in the 1960s, with the plane making its first flight on December 21st of 1970. Now, this jet had a relatively long service time, as from 1969 until 2006, it saw action in everything from the Vietnam War to Operation Desert Storm. This is largely because the jet was designed to have an insane amount of armaments aboard, which included not only a 20mm M61A1 Vulcan six-barrel Gatling cannon, 675 rounds, but seven Lao-10 rocket pods that could fit a total of 28 rockets, eight air-to-air -air missiles, several laser-guided or unguided bombs, and an advanced Hughes AN-APG-71 radar. However, after the U.S. Navy dropped the F-14 in favor of the new Boeing Super Hornet in 2006, the plane got delegated to use in air shows and museums. Regardless, that doesn't mean it's any slower or less impressive than it used to be, as its max speed of Mach 2.34, max range of 3,000 kilometers, max service ceiling of 16,000 meters, and a G limit of 7.5 meant that it could travel at some seriously fast speeds. As a result, the following video, which shows one traveling over the ocean, gives us a glimpse as to just how quick this plane really was. Number 4. The FA-18 Super Hornet while we think you'd agree that the F-14 Tomcat is an impressive aircraft, the F-A-18 Super Hornet is simply a step above this supersonic jet. First flown by the U.S. Navy in 1995, it was essentially made as a replacement to the F-14, as its status as a twin-engine, carrier-capable, multi-role fighter made it more of a versatile and thus more cost-effective choice than almost any other aircraft. After all, while the empty weight of the Super Hornet is about 5,000 kilograms less than that of the F-14 Tomcat, which it replaced, it approaches the F-14's payload and range, and tests have shown that the Super Hornet is superior to its earlier models in all but three categories – acceleration, maximum speed, and sustained turning performance. As such, its weaponry is even more advanced than the F-14 as it not only features a 20mm M61A2 Vulcan with 412 rounds, but multiple combinations of homing, anti-radiation, anti-ship, air-to-air, and standoff missiles, along with multiple combinations of laser-guided, unguided, and cluster bombs. Now, although the plane cannot achieve the speeds of the F-14, after all, it has a maximum speed of Mach 1.6 and a max range of 2,400 kilometers, it is still in service to this day, and being produced at a relatively low price of just $66 million per unit. But best of all, for your viewing pleasure, we have a video of one of these impressive planes in action. This video was taken at the 2009 Bethpage Federal Credit Union Air Show at Jones Beach, where the Super Hornet can be seen flying over the ocean and creating a sonic boom that truly is super. Number 3. The Bell X-1 of all the planes on this list, few are as iconic or as important in the world of aviation as the Bell X-1. That's because although it was first flown all the way back in 1946, it made history in 1947 for being the first aircraft to ever break the sound barrier. Now, development for the X-1 began all the way back in 1942, when the United Kingdom's Ministry of Aviation began a top-secret project with Miles Aircraft to develop the world's first airplane capable of breaking the sound barrier. Then, in 1944, Air Ministry signed an agreement with the United States to exchange high-speed research and data. However, rather than actually exchange anything, the United States simply took the Air Ministry's data and used it towards their own development for the X-1. As a result, on October 14th of 1947, less than a month after the U.S. Air Force had been created as a separate entity, the plane was ready for a supersonic flight. 
The pilot at the helm of this historic flight was the legendary pilot Captain Charles Chuck Yeager, and after being drop launched from the bomb bay of a B-29 bomber, he was able to reach a speed of Mach 1.06, thus officially breaking the sound barrier. And while the use of rocket-powered planes such as the X-1 would soon fall out of use, Yeager certainly made history with this iconic flight. Now, while the footage of this flight is grainy and of low quality to say the least, thanks to it being about 73 years old, we just think it's cool that such a recording has stood the test of time. Number 2. The Thrust SSC While most examples on this list are vehicles that fly high in the sky, the Thrust SSC stands apart for being the first and only land vehicle to officially break the sound barrier, automatically giving it the world land speed record. Now, the car was developed all the way back in 1997, not by a government agency, but rather by a team of Brits that were working under a project known as the SSC Program Limited, with the heads of said team being composed of Richard Noble, Glenn Bosher, Ron Ayers, and Jeremy Bliss. Now, in order to make the car, they used two after-burning Rolls-Royce spy turbofan engines that were reminiscent of what was used in British version of the F4 Phantom II jet fighter. This gave the car a net thrust of 223 kilonewtons and a power output of roughly 102,000 brake horsepower. And with these metrics and a number of test runs in hand, on October 15th of 1997, the team made their way to Nevada's Black Rock Desert to attempt to break the record. It was here that 50 years and one day after Chuck Yeager broke the sound barrier for the first time, driver Andy Green managed to drive the car at an incredible speed of Mach 1.02 officially breaking the speed record. And although this record may have occurred over 20 years ago, the Thrust SSC can now be viewed at the Coventry Transport Museum in Coventry, England. However, if you'd like to glimpse of what it looked like while in action, you can see the vehicle's record attempt here. Number 1. The SpaceX Falcon 9 while achieving just one sonic boom is impressive, the SpaceX Falcon 9 stands apart for being able to pull off three on any given flight. Now, for those of you who are unaware, the Falcon 9 is a partially reusable two-stage to orbit medium lift launch vehicle that's designed to bring items such as satellites, equipment, and other supplies into space. As a result, NASA has contracts with SpaceX to send these spacecraft up to the International Space Station with these rockets seen as being extremely valuable due to the fact that their reusability makes them more cost-effective, as while new ones come in at about $62 million a pop, to refit a used one costs only $50 million each. However, what further sets them apart is the fact that upon re-entry, the Falcon 9 has the potential to cause not just one sonic boom, but as many as two or three. Now, generally speaking, many aircraft will make two distinct sonic booms, with one being at the nose and one at the tail. However, due to the small size of many planes, two are often only distinguishable as one to the naked eye. However, the Falcon 9 goes against conventional wisdom by having three. As put by SpaceX's communication director, John Taylor, this is because, quote, the first boom is from the aft engine. The second boom is from the landing legs at the widest point going up to the side of the rocket. And the third boom is from the fins near the forward end. As a result, the Falcon 9's launch truly is a sight to behold. That's all we've got for you today, everyone, and thank you all for watching. Let us know in the comments down below which sonic boom you thought was the most interesting. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash the notification button so that you never miss out on any of our latest content. Until next time.